I did actually want to look at this because this is kind of wild. One of my favorite iterations on web dev in general has been HTMX. HTMX has been one of the greatest little tools for building uh, sites of all time. It is absolutely one of my favorites. Dude, people got to people got to do something about these Reddit mods because they are they are out of control. Can we all agree for a second you are out of control deleting the HTMX account from Reddit web dev. HTMX, the actual foundation of web dev got banned off of web dev. The reason why I I, I cannot stand Reddit is that this can exist, right? Uh I was having fun. <laughs> All right, let's see what he got banned for. Here we go. Anyone heard of HTMX? Is that is that really it? He seems to have some kind of delusion about web servers returning HTML and browsers rendering content without first going through a JSON stage. Is that even po uh, possible? Doubtful. Like, look at this. It's clear that everybody who's commenting here likes HTMX. Four inches or HTMX. <laughs> oh, no, this is so great. This is so great. This is so great. This is so great. Four inches of fury. I know it, the name. The, the name of these people. It is so good. Like, but the, but the thing is that I I don't really get to tell. I appreciate what HTMX is, but it's not for me. It sucks all the fun out of web dev for me. It's a different way to think. I already need to learn the new React meta frameworks, the fastest runtimes, the newest database services, the rising ORMs, the hottest UI libraries. I don't have cha time to change the way I think of building UIs. Keep a full time job and still build and learn in my free time. HTML feels more tedious than web components to me. Sorry, yeah, yes, but I'm sure .NET guys will consider it. Can we all just pour one out for this guy? Because I can't tell if this is satire or not, but a lot of people feel this. You know what I mean? A lot of people genuinely feel this in a real sense, that there is so much change constantly. Like imagine like if you are a React person and you want to do web stuff and now they're just dropping this entire new way of doing things with uh, like server components and all of that and now like not only do you have to learn react you have to learn meta frameworks you have to learn how to do serverless serverless comes with its own set of challenges right you have to think differently about your web server it's just simply different and you're just concerned yeah you may need to build bubble sort and css like it's getting so much harder these days like back in my day web dev was simple we had like an endpoint i had asked for some data i would put that data on the screen like that's it jquery sag yeah i know yeah uh no need to learn orms if you raw dog squeal see i'm a big fan of the raw dogging of the squeal you know what i mean um but either way, like, this is a real cry that a lot of people have. Honestly, if you are feeling completely overwhelmed, first off, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that web dev has gotten to the point where they think every last person should have this much knowledge, which is, it's, it's just, like, unfair for you to be asked to know all these things and to know them well. There's a whole problem that exists where if you use the same tool over and over again, you get really fast at it. And so when there's, like, a small additive change or even a larger medium-sized additive change to that tool or that tool set – you, as the person who've, who's done it a bunch, can easily make that adaptation. But those who are just coming in, those changes or larger changes or further abstractions just make it everything feel increasingly hard or increasingly harder. And so I genuinely feel bad. Uh, I think uh, HTMX is honestly one of the few f f breaths of fresh air we've had in a while in the web development world. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's too bad that we have people like this that don't have any sort of joke. You know, like a, a permanently banned seems a little heavy. You know, maybe they say no self-promotion, and if that's the case, I get it. But maybe because it's also HTMX, you could go, okay, hey, good joke. We're going to give you a temporary slap on, on the wrist. But hey, don't do it again. It's just like if, if React posts one of their articles. Should React be in trouble? Or do they they just have a larger crowd, so people just go and post it for them? Reddit is serious business. It's serious, okay? If you're gonna take these, if you're gonna read memes online, you better come in with a serious attitude for these memes. Uh yeah, React should be banned. Yeah, for real. Uh HTMX is a fine replacement for jQuery. Tell me you know nothing, Jon Snow, without telling me you know nothing. I discovered uh your stream last week and have been uh, binging your videos. Oh, nice. A HMX plus Rust. People love HMX plus Rust. I like HMX plus Go plus Temple. I think that's a really great mix, honestly. It's a really good mix when you can just come in here and you can just you can just do things like whoopsies. Why why am I lagging? What what the heck was that? 
what the, what the hell was even that? It's not supposed to go to that one. It's supposed to go to this one. But to be able to do something like this and go feels really, really good, right? This feels good. I know I should have just used Harpoon. I actually have it already Harpooned. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, but this feels really, really good. Love this. Okay, I love it. Anyways, hey, sorry, uh, sorry HTMAX. Appreciate you. Hopefully, hopefully you get unbanned. And if you don't, well, honestly, you probably, you probably lost nothing. Real talk, you probably, you, you literally probably lost nothing. The HTMX again. 